The ex-Maharashtra minister and NCP leader Baba Siddiqui was shot at on Saturday by three assailants in Mumbai's Bandra. Probe has intensified in this matter. Mumbai police along with 15 crime branch teams currently probing into the Salman Khan Lawrence Bishnoi angle in this case. This comes after an unverified post on social media. Bishnoi gang claiming responsibility for Baba Siddiqui's murder. Now, so far, six accused have been identified who are linked to this assassination of Baba Siddiqui, out of which three of them have been arrested, while the other three, who seem to have been the one responsible in hiring these uh, assailants to carry out this assassination, they are still on the run. Shooter Gurmail Singh and Dharam Raj Kashyap have been arrested. Third shooter Shiv Gautam and accused Zishan Akhtar are still absconding. Shubham Longkar, who shared the Bishnoi post on social media, is also absconding. However, his brother, Praveen Lonkar, who also has been responsible in hiring these uh, shooters, he is said to be uh, arrested. And we hear that the cops have now established a clear link of Lawrence Bishnoi gang in this murder. Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde, meanwhile, has vowed to provide justice to Siddiqui's family. After Baba Siddiqui's murder, Mumbai crime branch arrived to Pune and they arrested Praveen Lonkar. I'm standing at the exact location when Praveen Lonkar is around this dairy. And the interesting thing is, first to accuse Shiv Kumar and Dharmaraj Kashyap, they met Praveen Lonkar and the Shubham Lonkar person who posted on the, who posted a Facebook, who published a Facebook post regarding Baba Siddiqui's murder and taking the responsibility on the uh, Lawrence Bistral gang. They met here itself because two accused who were arrested by the Mumbai crime branch they used to work in this Balaji scrap center. That's how they got a link with Shubham Lonkar and Praveen Lonkar, the elder brother of Shubham Lonkar. They both were accused in the firearms dealing uh, Akola this year itself and uh, after speaking uh, to some local sources, as per mother of Lonkar, Shubham Lonkar left his house in last June and July. After that, he is not in contact with the family, neither he is contacting anyone. But at least now, Mumbai Prime Minister today is just arrested. They have arrested Harvey Lonkar, who used to run this uh, dairy farm. And the main connection from the Pune is two main accused, Kashyap, Dharmuraj Kashyap and Shri Kumar. They both met Shubham Lonkar here itself, and that's how they cooked the planning of murder. Mr. Baba Siddhi. ये दोगली डबल डोलकी वाले लोग हैं दोनों बाजू से बजाते हैं उनको कोई नैतिकता नहीं है बदलापुर वाले केस में एक छोटी बच्ची पे अत्याचार हुआ उस आरोपी की बाजू लेने वाले ये लोग ये क्या कानून की भाषा करते हैं ये कानून व्यवस्था बनाए रखने की जिम्मेदारी हमारी है और बाबा सिद्दीकी जिसके ऊपर जिन्होंने हमला किया हत्या हुई है एक को भी हम नहीं छोड़ेंगे सभी को फांसी लगाएंगे क्यों इस तरह की हादसा हुआ बांद्रा जैसे जगह पे मुंबई जो देश की एक आर्थिक राजनीति बोला जाता है मुंबई फाइनेंशियल कैपिटल हब है पूरे वहाँ पे इस तरह की बांद्रा में घटना हो रही है पहले सलमान खान पे फिर बाबा सिद्दीकी के ऊपर वहाँ पर हो गया अब अब वो देखिए जो भी गैंग है जो भी है कैसा कर सकते अब एक कोई इंसान जेल में है तो सरकार क्या कर रही है जेल से कर कर रहा है तो प्रॉपर फेलियर है इन लोग का तो हम तो यही बोल रहे हैं कि लॉ एंड ऑर्डर मेंटेन करने के अंदर महाराष्ट्र की सरकार टोटल हमको फेल नजर आ रही है वरना आज अगर उनका खुद का उनकी पार्टी का सत्ता रूलिंग पार्टी का जो नेता है वो सेफ नहीं है तो सोचो ऑपोजिशन का क्या होगा तो जिस तरह से महाराष्ट्र में कल बाबा सिद्दीकी का जो हत्या हुई वो तो सत्ता पक्ष के नेताओं का वो भी सुरक्षित नहीं है तो वहाँ की जनता कैसे सुरक्षित है ये सबसे बड़ा प्रश्न है पर अब ये सब मामले को जनता ही इनको जवाब देने वाली है ये तो इतनी गंभीर बात है कि राज्य के गृह मंत्री नहीं तो देश के गृह मंत्री जो गुजरात से है उनके लिए भी चैलेंज है ये अजीत पवार ने अमित शाह का इस्तीफा मांगना चाहिए इसलिए कि ये जो बाबा सिद्दीक है उनके पार्टी के नेता थे हिम्मत है अजीत पवार जी में देवेंद्र फडणवीस को तो छोड़ दीजिए वो कुछ काम के नहीं रहे अभी लेकिन गुजरात के जेल में बैठे एक व्यक्ति जो एटीएस के कब्जे में है वो हमारे महाराष्ट्र के एक नेता की हत्या करवाता है जिम्मेदारी लेता है और हमारी सरकार यहाँ भजन कर करके बैठी है
If I could break it down for our viewers on the accused connected with Baba Siddiqui's murder. Here's a quick look on those who've been arrested. Gurmail Singh, shooter number one, he's been taken into custody along with his aide, Dharam Raj, who's also been arrested. Those are the images that you see on our screens there, the shooters, along with Shiv Kumar, uh, the third shooter who we hear is still on the run. So out of the three shooters, two of them uh, in police custody, one person still missing. Now, those who have assigned this assassination to these shooters are the people you see on your screens on the right, where we see people including Praveen Lonkar, who hired these shooters, who are still on the run. Shubham Lonkar, again, man involved in hiring the shooters, also not traceable, along with Lawrence Vishnoi gang member Zishan Akhtar, who's also on the run. So these are the people, six people involved in this case, and the cops now have uh, clearly established a Lawrence Bishnoi link. Dipesh, our correspondent, joining us live from Mumbai. Dipesh, please do elaborate. Three, uh, p three shooters, of whom only two arrested, one still on the run. Uh, give us more elaborately on how the cops have managed to confirm that this is the hand of Lawrence Bishnoi and gang. <clears throat> well, Navila, police is uh, Mumbai police is yet to come on record and say that this murder has been executed by the Lawrence Bishnoi gang. But the evidence, the arrest of the accused involved, remember Praveen Lonkar, who has been arrested. Praveen Lonkar is the brother of Shubham Lonkar, and Shubham Lonkar is affiliated to the Lawrence Bishnoi gang. He has been supplying arms and ammunition to the Lawrence Vishnoi gang. This uh, year in January, he was also arrested for supplying arms to the Lawrence Vishnoi gang. Praveen Rankar, remember, he runs a dairy in Pune. And interestingly, uh, the two shooters, Shiva Kumar and uh, Dharmaraj Kashyap, worked in a scrap uh, shop which was just located just beside the dairy of Praveen Lonkar. So uh, this points out the connection between the shooters and Praveen Lonkar, uh, who is brother of Shubham Lonkar. Uh, Shubham Lonkar works for uh, Lawrence Bishnoi gang. And now uh, Shubham Lonkar also put up a uh, social media post uh, which, where he claimed responsibility uh, of the Lawrence Bishnoi gang in the murder of uh, Baba Siddiqui. Uh, he also pointed out that this was a revenge for the death of Salman Khan case shooter Anuj Thapan and also that uh, Baba Siddiqui had been close friends with Salman Khan and uh, Salman Khan has been attacked, he's been threatened by the Lawrence Vishnoi gang uh, since 2018. This year in April, uh, his residence was attacked. Uh, firing happened at his residence and the shooters involved were Lawrence Vishnoi gang members. Another wanted accused, Mohammad Zishan Akhtar, a resident of Punjab, uh, is also wanted in this case and Mohammad Zishan Akhtar has been affiliated to the Lawrence Vishnoi gang. So the footprints, the evidence, the clues that have come to light point out directly the role of Lawrence Bishnoi gang. Uh, their members have been involved in this murder case and as we've seen in the Salman Khan firing case, two shooters were hired, two shooters who had no criminal antecedents were from Bihar. They were hired to carry out the shootout. Here also, two shooters, Shiv Kumar and Dharmaraj Kashyap, had no criminal antecedents. While Gurmel Singh has a criminal history, he has been booked for murder, arrested in a murder case, and he had met Mohammad Zishan Akhtar while in jail. So right. all the possible leads, all the evidences that have come to light point out to the role of Lawrence Bishnoi gang behind the murder of Baba Siddiqui. Police is yet to come on record and state that they uh, this is the act or this has been right. this murder has been executed on uh, orders of the Lawrence Bishnoi gang members. But they did say yesterday while addressing media that they were probing all possible right. angles. You know, there are multiple theories, of course, doing the round. Uh, thanks very much, Devesh, for joining us on that. Well, let me take our viewers through the theories on why did the Lawrence Bishnoi gang decide to target Baba Siddiqui. Here is the first theory. Lawrence gang is, uh, of course, taking revenge over the black buck killing that, that had Salman Khan involved and considering Baba Siddiqui is close to Salman Khan, his close ties with Salman Khan has been attributed to 
Baba Siddiqui becoming the target. The theory here also holds on how it could be a ma a, the killer. In fact, Salman Khan's house was attacked by uh, some miscreants, and that one of them who was arrested dies by suicide in prison. So that could have aggravated and irked the Lawrence Bishnoi gang to carry out uh, further targeting of people associated with Salman Khan. The other theory is that that Baba Siddiqui could have links with Daud gang. He could have he was touted to. Uh, there were talks about his links with Daud gang, and this may have led to his assassination. This is, of course, these are just theories that are doing the rounds. Uh, nothing that the cops have confirmed so far. Theory another one that's uh, doing the rounds is that Baba Siddiqui was involved in the redevelopment of a slum. Uh, in Mumbai, and uh, that where the ED also uh, pulled in Baba Siddiqui, attaching nearly 462 crores of uh, assets of his with regards to this slum redevelopment, which uh, was suspected to be a scam. Now, this could also be a reason to why he was targeted. Now, after Baba Siddiqui's death here, security has been heightened right outside Salman Khan's residence. Following a directive from Salman Khan's family not to meet anyone, Salman Khan, we hear, has cancelled all his meetings, hasn't stepped out to meet anyone else except for being part of the funeral yesterday. Uh, security continues to be heightened outside Salman Khan's residence as the bl bad blood here between gangster Lawrence Vishnoi and Salman Khan uh, continues. In fact, this erupted in... 1998 itself with regards to the Black Buck case, where Salman Khan was convicted in Black Buck poaching in 2018. In fact, Bishnoi community holds the Black Buck in high reverence as they believe it is a reincarnation of their spiritual leader. Lawrence Bishnoi has also start, stated that Salman Khan must apologize. And if at all he does, then the threats could cease. BJP MP former BJP MP has also asked for Salman Khan to apologize as he says what he did by killing a black buck has hurt sentiments of the Bishnoi community. And we hear Salman Khan so far has not interacted in any way uh, with the Lawrence Bishnoi gang despite the number of threats that he's received. There has been no communication from his end. But at this point, his close aide, Baba Siddiqui's murder has really sent shockwaves. जो जब हम करेंगे तो पता लग ही जाएगा सलमान खान का ग्रह मारेंगे ही जाएगा जोधपुर में मारेंगे तो पता लग जाएगा इनको अभी तो मैंने कुछ किया ही नहीं है बिना मतलब कोई इन्वॉल्व कर रहे हैं तो जब हम करेंगे तो पता लग ही जाएगा सलमान खान का ग्रह मारेंगे ही जाएगा जोधपुर में मारेंगे तो पता लग जाएगा इनको अभी तो मैंने कुछ किया ही नहीं है बिना मतलब कोई इन्वॉल्व कर